Okay, so I went into some PE quickly just to take a screenshot of what I did for the thumbnail and I pretty much discovered that what I'd done hadn't saved. Like SimPE had thrown an exception error while I was doing the guide, if that made any sense at all. But I thought it saved before it threw the error at me, but it turned out it hadn't done. So what I wound up doing was that I just immediately turned my OBS back on just to kind of have it capture what I was doing and I'll just kind of explain what I'm doing as I've edited, hopefully edited in what's going on on screen. So what I then decided to do is that Jan did eventually show up and it was because I didn't have um like not related and all that jazz ticked and it turns out he had known Jan already or at least had relations to Jan already and because I didn't have related ticked she wasn't coming up so anyway yes yeah, so what I decided to do instead was that I decided to make them a little family instead so you know Comey's the dad um Jan the mother and or stepmother, because I don't think I linked Jan to Brittany in the family tree, so I think Jan may just be her stepmother. <laughs> but, you know, it's um, it's, it's a corrupted hood anyway. I don't really have to put too much thought into what, into what I'm doing, so it's it's fine. It's it's all good. It's um, it's brilliant. It's, it's ace. Anyway, so I, so I sorted the, the ties out, and during that time, I did not take a screen for that I realise I could have just saved myself a bunch of time. Right, I'm rambling. I shouldn't be rambling. I shouldn't be rambling. So basically, yeah, it's because I wanted to include Jan into the equation, now I had to give her relationships to Brittany and stuff, which was what I did. And I think they're a cute little family, excluding the fact that my plans were to make Brittany like a genetic child of theirs, if you will, so they're both linked to her in the family tree. But so I so I basically had to just get a bunch of I lost what I was saying now. I lost what I was saying now because the dog started barking. But in summary, um Jan and Kome are now married. Um in this alternate universe. Komei had a daughter called Brittany prior to them getting married. So Jan has a stepdaughter and a husband. And who knows, maybe in this little AU universe, they will be making room for more babies. We'll have to wait and see. So we're in the game now. And um, since there isn't a specific Telemann household, if you will, we're gonna have to load up a family and whip out the good old sim blender um the issue is is which household maybe charlotte i don't know i don't think we've seen her properly in this uh <laughs> well we have in the plague town tour video but i don't think we spent too much time on her since excluding the fact that a bunch of her relationships relationships had vanished nothing much had really happened to her so so i've just got charlotte a sim blender and i've entered the summon menu and we are going to find Komei, jan and Brittany, and see how these relationships look i also changed Brittany's surname to telemann too uh just so that um you know the story kind of made sense so we'd be looking for a Brittany Talman or not a Brittany Parker founder. So we're now just going to make them all selectable and see if I was successful or not. But yeah, so if we're going to... Are they both? Mm. They're going to be in a very unhappy marriage. But at least they're married, I think. So yes, so this is what I did in some PE. Um, their family, technically and they've got the appropriate flags and as mentioned Brittany isn't actually genetically Jan's but she's Komei's so we're going to Komei's family tree Brittany is just linked to him uh, Brittany is Jan's stepdaughter not full-blooded daughter but they consider each other family they seem very happy 
not really, but at the very least, it's all kind of worked out how I did it. I laugh if she had the same template, it would have been so funny. But yeah, that was literally all what this video was about, really. Um, so, something I will say here now is that from this video onwards, the tutorial videos won't be as common anymore because. You know, I can't really think of what much else to do tutorials on, really. Like, I've got a few ideas for the future, but at the moment, um, they're going to be kind of put on the back burner. But if I, th if I think of something like, really, like, ooh, this could be useful for someone, possibly, in the future, if they stumble upon the video, you know, then, then, I'll, then I'll make it. Um, because it is kind of... You know, I just kind of wanted to put these sort of um, tutorials out here just to kind of... You know, just to kind of show that SimPE isn't as scary as it looks because it... You know, if you get the hang of it, it really isn't that bad. Um, like, it was intimidating to me at first too, but then, like, once I've learned that, you know, you can make backups as a sort of security blanket, if you will, and just kind of stay away from the problematic things. So, like, don't alter Mrs. Crumple Bottom in Sim PE. Don't try to make NPC Skunk Skin a human or whatever. You know, just leave things leave things like that alone. But if you're just editing like standard townies and things like that, and you know, and you can actually create you know mods and custom content and stuff in Sim PE too. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, and because I know when I was starting out, I would have thought these tutorials would have been kind of useful, but that's just me. Because sometimes, um, if you're just reading things or just kind of, even if you're looking at pictures, sometimes you kind of want to visually kind of see where the curse is going. And that's one of the good things about videos, I guess. But yeah, tutorials will still be a thing, but they won't be as common as they are now. Um, just kind of when I can think of something, you know, useful to do a tutorial on or whatever. Like, I've got, again, I've got ideas for future tutorials, but like, you know, I don't want to just be spamming them out. Like, <laughs> like, I feel like I have been doing. And yeah, I mentioned on Sunday that... Um, no, I had a video that I was in the process of editing and it was supposed to go up um, the last Friday, but, you know, because stuff happened more, more, more or less to do with my editing software being a bit... Um, I had to install an update on it, so it's... But yeah, it's all good now. Um, so I've gotten it sorted out and it's going to be... This wasn't the video, by the way. Um, it should be out, well I've got it scheduled for Friday, so it's definitely going to be out on Friday, so look out for that if you're interested, I guess. It's, um, like looking back at editing it, I think I did have, um, some takes on it, like, jeez. Like I had, I had some opinions <laughs> Um, it wasn't an opinion video anyway, it was more of like a... It's basically a video about what I think of corruption and stuff, basically, and what I consider misconceptions to be. So if you're interested in that, you can look out for that if you want to, just, uh... Yep. It's meant to be a fun little thing, not anything overly serious. And... Yeah, I'll try to get a strangely pleasant view sorted out for Sunday. Um, cause I don't, I don't think I've even recorded that one yet. Anyway, I can't really think of much else to say right now, and I think I'm just kind of nattering on about things that are now no longer to do with the tutorial. Which, uh... yeah, smart me. Well done. Very, very good job. Put yourself on the back for stalling. So, if you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you in any way, shape or form, then you can leave it a like if you want to. Um, 
I'm really terrible at this, aren't I? I've, I've, I think I've been doing this for a month, and I think I've come out of my shell a tiny bit, but not by much. Like, I think even in my earlier videos, I was kind of not emoting too much. I think I was kind of, like, monotone. But that discussion's for another day. Like, I might just make a video where I'm just rambling in the future. Like, I just ramble. See, see, see how that goes. But, right, again, I might just have to restart this again now, because... This is what I mean. Right, so if you enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way, shape or form, then you can give it a like. And if you want to see what else I decide to do in the future, which at the moment it's mainly Sims 2 content at the moment, since I'm really into The Sims 2 at the moment, it's really, really fun. It's my favourite Sims game. And again, that's for a different video. Um, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my weird antics, I guess. Um, or if you miraculously think I'm funny, I, I I don't know, I don't know. I'll just I'll just shut up when it comes to talk about myself because again I'm no advertiser. Um, but yeah, you can sub if you would really like to. Um, thank you for watching, by the way. And if you decided to stay, thanks again. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.